Police have now arrested and charged Solomon Pena, the man they say masterminded a string of shootings targeting Democratic lawmakers after they refused to entertain his rigged election conspiracy theories. In fact, Pena lost his local House race overwhelmingly, 74 to 26 percent, but he still claimed he won. He posted this picture of himself in a Make America Great Again sweatshirt saying he, quote, never conceded. Then he tried, unsuccessfully, to get local officials to buy into his so-called evidence of fraud. Then in December, a string of shootings began targeting some of those same officials. The attacks are simultaneously terrifying and predictable. Amid the rising tide of partisanship, anger and grievance, we're seeing it more and more. Here's the mayor of Albuquerque. The shootings were orchestrated. They were dangerous attacks, not only to these individuals, which is personally the most terrifying for them, but fundamentally also to democracy. That is why this is so terrible. This type of radicalism is a threat to our nation, and it has made its way to our doorstep right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I want to bring in NBC senior Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Haig. Tim Miller is a writer at large for The Bulwark and an MSNBC political analyst. Carol Lamb is a former federal prosecutor and MSNBC legal analyst. So, Garrett, Susan Collins actually said just a few months ago she wouldn't be surprised if a senator or House member were killed. Now, these were local officials, but some of those bullets allegedly, among other places, hit inside the bedroom of a 10-year-old while she was sleeping. What more can you tell us about all of this? Yeah, Chris, authorities in New Mexico just released the arrest warrant here for Solomon Pena. I've been going through it, and while a warrant like this contains only accusations at this point, uh, they are chilling, and it's pretty clear that it was only a combination of bad aim and good luck that kept this from being a homicide case. The incident you're referring to is one of the victims here it said she woke up in the middle of the night. Her 10-year-old daughter had come into her room, said she'd woken up because it felt like a spider or something was crawling on her face. Then she said it felt like there was sand in her bed. She wanted to sleep with her mother. And the next morning, the mother went into the child's room and found bullet holes through the child's room. That sandy feeling was sawdust from the walls of their home in her daughter's bed. This was one of the victims of what police say was a conspiracy led by Pena, including a group of other men, to essentially drive around and shoot up the homes of other Democratic lawmakers in the area to whom he had already complained about his view that his election was somehow stolen against him. Now, police have charged uh, Pena as kind of the mastermind with this, with a variety of crimes, including being a felon in possession of a firearm, shooting at an occupied dwelling, uh, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. The list goes on and on here. But again, just hearing uh, really, frankly, how lucky these victims were that somebody didn't end up shot or killed at, you know, these uh, men driving around just spraying these houses with gunfire.